Warning, this video may contain spoilers for the TV show or movie that we discuss in this video. If you have not yet watched the TV show or movie that this video is about, please come back to the video at a later time after you have watched the content that was discussed. You have been warned. Hmm. Um. I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> you guys, I mean, to an extent, um. I think, by the way, first of all, first off, as we progress, I think, if anything, I might just classify this as a vlog review, or more so when it comes down to it, or maybe just, you know, call it a review. But I'm doing it in kind of a vlog format. Um, to an extent, just kind of giving quick thoughts and going from there. Um, oh my gosh. I kind of didn't want to do this one because I heard of how stupid it is. But, oh my gosh. Yeah, this one was, um, this was... Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So, I should, I, I, I guess... To kind of keep this entertaining to an extent, um, I knew this review was coming up. I didn't want to pay too much attention to it because, again, I heard of how stupid it was. And I did end up paying more attention than I should have. But to an extent, I kind of put this on while I was, like, doing some work. Um, and uh, as soon as I was done watching it, um, I'm like, there's like, there's been a couple times where I literally am... Like, looking at this, like, is this isn't real. I mean, it's film, but to an extent, it can't be real. This is... This is so stupid. But anyways. Um. Killer Clowns. With a K. From Outer Space. First of all, I don't know why they they decided to title it that way. Where it's like, uh, the clown is spelled with a, with a K instead of a C. Or whatever. It was released in 1988. And, um... Oh gosh, I I don't know how I feel about it. I guess basic premise is you have a you have a shooting star that apparently lands into a unknown town. Some people you know go to check it out. At first glance, it looks like a circus tent, and uh, they get killed, or at least the town gets consumed one by one, or at least turned into cotton candy by these aliens that are shaped like clowns. By the way, I think to an extent I kind of relate to um although he's an asshole, I kind of relate to this uh this one disgruntled uh, police officer cuz he he's all listening to this crap and uh, that happens and he's like fuck this, I'm not going to and and I don't care if I curse at this point. He's like screw this. I don't I'm not going to listen to all this. This out this all sounds crazy. Until he inevitably gets killed. <laughs> but anyway. So that's the basic premise. Um, these aliens. That again look like clowns. Going around using a ray gun. That uh, wraps people in a. I'm assuming it's some kind of. Like it's a cocoon. That transforms them into liquids. For the clowns to drink. There's sentient popcorn. That either combines or grows into um, Jack Jack in the Box uh, cl killer clowns apparently um, they can create shadow puppets that can eat people it, it, it's again it is so stupid it really is I couldn't care less for a lot of the characters because a lot of them just were dumb um, some of the drama was like kind of out of the blue or seem forced the characters that weren't funny continue to not be funny throughout the film um as stupid as the concept is the killer clowns look okay for the most part for what they are not saying much um when it comes down to uh, music, I'm not going to even talk about music because to an extent, 
there's not much there there really isn't um and by the way i am trying really hard to say something nice about this movie i've i've learned that at this point at least find one thing and which i think that now they think about it i just did where i talked about the clowns being you know you know looking all right for the time um I think that's the one thing I can think of that is good. Um, the way they kill they kill people is kind of stupid. Not funny, just stupid. Uh, when it comes down to some of the gags, it like I don't get it. I guess if there's close to a funny scene was when the uh, the old disgruntled cop gets killed and gets turned into a, a, a ventriloquist dummy. Um, apparently the killer clown's weakness is, and I don't care for, I spoil it by the way, none of, at this point, a lot of people aren't even going to go watch the film. Um, there's, uh, you find out like halfway through that their weakness is shooting their nose off and they explode. Not really that great. So... Oh man. What sucks too is I in a second I'm gonna have to give my rating and honestly I can't give it a really high one. It was not that great. So and apparently this I mean this is it does have an occult following, which is weird. It really is. When it comes down to it, it I mean heck, it even it recently got a video game based on it which is it would in for at first glance kind of has the same gameplay as some of the other survival games that we've seen with like either predator or friday the 13th and so on but with the killer clowns from outer space twist so you know to an extent the only way i could think of is like you know why this has an occult falling probably because you know it's so stupid of a concept it's fun but honestly, I just... Not much. Some of the acting was just terrible, too. So, all in all... Not great. It gets... And plus, going further... There we go. With final thoughts. Um, clowns looked alright for the time. Characters sucked. The story is weird. Nothing to talk about for music. Effects, which I haven't talked about, are okay. And I just hit my mic. I do apologize. Um, I just abused my mic. I am so sorry. But anyways, um, it comes down to it. It's, it's not really that good. And I, people made fun of me for even suggesting that I do this this movie. So, all right, final thoughts done. Rating. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the latter with this one. And my debate was because at this point I'm getting close. I'm like kind of petering of whether or not it should be, you know, average or below average. And honestly, I can't even do average. So, I think what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, this wasn't my cup of tea. If you're fans of it, okay. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 10. It wasn't the best movie, but to an extent, it was somewhat stupid and honestly again the killer clowns looked great for what they were at the time but anywho all right i think we are done i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh thank you guys so much for watching truly appreciate it. if you guys can uh please leave a like comment share subscribe all the good stuff if you guys want to follow us on social media links are in the description down below as well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Rob Novacast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. See you guys in the next video. And the next review, 
Um, let's, um, you know what? Honestly, we'll talk about Dracula. Well, which one? At this point, I'm going to keep that a surprise. So, anyway, take care, everybody. See ya.